So what is the buzz? What's going on? What's happening around town? Where can you go tonight if you're not interested in the Eurovision Song Contest? Well, here's an idea. Get yourself up to Theatre Cluid. At the moment, they have got an extraordinarily great bit of work in the shape of the importance of being earnest. It's running from, uh, well, from now until the 27th of May, and uh, it's Oscar Wilde's brilliant comedy about double lives, friendship, and discovering who you are. And it's all brought to life in this new theatre fluid production. Some absolutely fantastic performances, uh, namely from James Backway and uh, Matt Jessup, who give a masterclass in playing comedy in these classic stories. I popped up there on Tuesday night for the opening night and uh, and I caught a word with, uh, fair to say, uh, a rather ecstatic Emma Denley. So? So? Absolutely fantastic. How was it for you? Yeah, it was good. It was a really responsive audience and nothing went horribly wrong, which is always great. Um, we had quite a quiet, quiet audience yesterday, so we were rewarded today with a generous, giving, laughing audience. Yeah. It makes everything else for us much more fun. I mean, we have to keep, obviously, in character and playing everything straight, but as an actor, everything's much more fun when the audience is having a good time. Yeah. It so much works now, as it must have done in 1895 or when it was the first done. Yeah. I mean, some of the jokes, they're just absolutely perfect for now. Has it been adjusted? No, the text is exactly as it is. There's one line, a half line that's been added, and there's one that's been taken away. But nothing no, that you would notice, really. No, no it's completely... The it's Tory completely line? The, no, no, that's real. That was in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, the Tory line is real. Brilliant. The, that's the, one of the biggest laughs of the night, though. That's the great Oh, I know, it's brilliant. <laughs> and it's something that was, even at the audition, Rich was like, um, this has to be relevant now, so don't play it all like... So people came in, me included, into the audition being like, hey, hello, yeah. I'm going to talk like that. Yeah. And, and kind of doing the whole scene like that. And he was like, no, it's not, not interesting, like, not relevant. Yeah. Just just do it as you would do it, and they're still funny. Yeah. People are still funny, and we realised on the first night of previews that, because we've stopped finding it funny by this point, because we've been doing it for four and a half weeks, yeah. well, there are things that we find funny and the audience don't, and so that's why it was lovely to have previews to work out, but on the first preview we're suddenly like, Oscar Wilde's the funniest man on stage, yeah. none of us are, like, <laughs> yeah. just do the play and you'll be fine. Yeah. So yeah, no, none of it's changed. How long did you take the rehearsals with? Four weeks? Four weeks, yeah. Four the, weeks in the rehearsal room and then half a week in the... Right. Did you do it all later? Set. Yeah, so it's one of Cluid's um, in-house productions. Right, okay. At the end of the sort of spring season. Right. And they've done a lot of co-productions with other companies which tend to rehearse somewhere else. So mm. they, like Headlong, for example, the junkyard they rehearsed. Um, it was a co-production with Head- Headlong and Bristol Vic and the Rose and they rehearsed in London. Mm-hmm. So the rehearsal room doesn't get used in that sort of regard but we were in there it's a beautiful rehearsal room you can sort of yeah. see the whole Welsh hills and I know. it's lovely I mean the comic timing is just so I mean it's it's, it's absolutely awesome I was just the, the, those two lads I know I just they are amazing I mean yeah. it, they were it the, the company generally have been hugely inspiring and, and the director as well has made the rehearsal room so safe that we can be dangerous and therefore do our best work. And, I mean, they've obviously taken it very well, but, I mean, Robin and me, we've only been out for a year, so watching the boys who've been out for maybe two or three years and then the sort of older actors... Don't say that, don't <laughs> Older actors... Yeah. Uh, have been out for much longer, so it's been like a masterclass and just watching people play. So was it actually as intentional, was it? Because this play can be quite heavy going. This I found really pacey, really no, relevant, Br- absolutely brilliant. I can't, you know, I'm, <laughs> I should be sat there on Facebook now telling everybody to come. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was. So that was it actually intentional, was it, or is it just something that happened in the that, rehearsal room? I think that it's just uh, I think giving Oscar Wilde a bit. Uh, a bit of credit really that, that he is relevant now and I think as soon as you get on that train then you just do it like it was you know like you do anything kind yeah. of thing and, and to never patronise the work and to never kind of try and twist it into something that it isn't but mm-hmm. also 
allowing us to be ourselves and doing it properly. And, yeah. and, and I think that hopefully that's why it comes across as being quick and as fresh as when it was first written. I mean, we, you can only hope, really, but yeah. I think people sometimes get quite sort of frightened by the style and so get stuck. Yeah. And actually it's, it's a game to play it, really, mm. and to, to deliver things very straight that are stupid is very fun. Yeah. You know. But and, and also everybody's been saying a handbag on. Well, yeah. That's all anybody ever knows. Big. Yeah. And also, and she the, doesn't do the, it like that. It doesn't. It's just a line, and there are actually in the play much funnier lines that don't get said as often. Yeah. yeah. No, it was absolutely perfectly done. Yeah, I can't fault it. It's absolutely belting. Oh, wonderful. Sounds like I liked it, Jenna. <laughs> Wonderful. What a lovely girl, Emma Denley, and uh, she has just uh, graduated from RADA. And uh, she's up at Theatre Cluid at the moment, along with uh, a cast that is so talented. It's uh, not, not, an easy, not an easy thing to do to play these classics uh, in, in a comedic way, but uh, they are absolutely fantastic. And uh, incidentally, uh, Melanie Walters uh, from uh, Gavin and Stacey, uh, that's uh, Stacey's mum to, uh, to the initiated, uh, she is... Is, uh, she's in it as well, so you know if you're a fan of Gavin and Stacey, get up to Theatre Cluett. Right, uh, tickets are oh, very, very decent actually, between ten pounds and twenty-five pounds, depending on when you go. So the th- best thing to do is to phone the box office and uh, take your chances. Uh, the box office number is oh one three five two seven zero one five two one oh one three five two seven zero one five two one. That is the importance of being earnest playing up at Theatre Cluid until the 27th of May. Support your local theatre, ladies and gentlemen. It will not be there forever if you don't. 105 FM. <laughs> 